Welcome to another episode of Learn JavaScript on the Now platform. My name is Chuck Tomasi, and I am here to guide you through some common error messages you may encounter while you're writing your JavaScript on the Now platform. So let's put that away and get me down here so that I can show you. I have a script here that has some issues, and this is from the GitHub repo that we had before. Right there, you can go and get this script. This is lesson five, script one. I believe it's the only script because it contains a lot of problems that we're going to go through. And for example, if you just ran this script in scripts background, you would see that we've got an issue. And it says, unterminated string literal in line five. Unfortunately, as you may have noticed, scripts background doesn't have any line numbers on it, which is why I often refer to an external editor. And here we have line one, two, three, four, five. And it says, there is a syntax error. I can't even run this script because you've messed it up somehow. And I look at this and I say, oh yes, yes, of course. There needs to be a matching close quote here. If I try a double quote, it's not gonna get it right. That doesn't help the situation. If my quotes are mismatched, it still comes up with the same message and says, no, unterminated string literal. That means your quotes are messed up. And sometimes, sometimes an error message is not on the line that it indicates. It's on the line above. So check closely. If it says line five and you're like, line five is perfect, man. It could be on line four that's causing the problem to be represented on line five because the little parser is going, okay, everything's fine. Whoa, what happened here? But the cause is a line above. So just a little hint or tip there. Let me actually fix that with a single quote and run it again. And whoa, well, okay, I've got, I got past that string, but it now it's saying my unknown variable is not defined. Well, do you see a statement that says var my unknown variable, which is a really terrible name for it, but that's true. I'm gonna leave this the way it started. Go back. Sorry about the screen flipping. Go back here. And yes, of course, my unknown variable. Like, where did this come from? You know, if you're gonna use a variable, you kind of have to declare it first. So let's call this var my unknown variable. And my favorite programmer's tool is copy and paste. So rather than type out that long thing and maybe get it wrong, like I already was twice, let's just type that in and put in that. So now it knows about this before it's used. If I put it down here, it's still going to be declared, but not in time for the script to go, wait, what, what? Okay, you used it, but I, I don't have a value in it yet. So always make sure you declare your variables before you use them and set them a value would be nice too. I don't have to put anything in this variable for it to get rid of that error message. In fact, it no longer says that, but it will have an output statement that says undefined. It actually started running this script. It goes, yeah, hi, yeah, that's nice that you declared my unknown variable, but it doesn't have anything in it. So if I put something in it, like my name, then it will say, ah, there's Chuck, and oh, we ran into another problem. What in the world is GA doing here? You didn't say anything of what GA is, and I went, oh, so if it says GA is not defined or the variable is not defined, it means you're using something that you didn't previously declare. Now this is either you forgot your var for your variable, or in this case, it's like, it says, um, take a closer look. I'm doing GA.info. It's like, mm, I have no idea what GA info is. GS info is a built, GS is a built in library of stuff that we're taking advantage of. And gs.info, you realize how subtle that is when you're scanning through that? GAs and GSs look a lot alike, as do GRs. So using non-common variable names is preferred to using ones that look a lot like other things in the system. So that'll help you with your readability. Now, of course, if I fix this all up, I should get two statements, Chuck and hello world, and I have fixed it. So something is not defined or syntax errors are two of the most common issues. And there's two reasons why you could have uh, an undefined. You either didn't declare it or you're using it wrong. And in both cases, it's not declared, but check your typing very, very closely. And again, a quick tip is 
look on the line above for possible errors. If the line you're looking at looks perfectly fine, this is just what Chuck told me to do. And if you continue to run into problems, hey, there's always comments in the, uh, in the, in the video section for you. So that's it for some of the most common error messages. I do have a bit of homework for you. I should have put this on the last video. I want to know what three plus two times five is. Again, you can answer in the comments below if you've already tried it. Or if you haven't tried it yet, don't, don't cheat. You know, try it out yourself. What is three plus two times five in JavaScript? What would it get if you printed out the result of that arithmetic expression? And how can you make it where the three plus two is first? So I'm jumping back a little bit. I want to test your memory on the last lesson. Join me in the next one where we talk more about these strings. Instead of just saying var name equals Chuck, we're going to get into some really cool stuff and powerful things you can do with these strings and get information out of them. Until then, Take care, and I will talk to you again real soon. Bye.